hypotenuse is 20. So this is my hypotenuse. This is my short leg. Why is it my short leg? Well, what's my smallest angle? My smallest angle is 30. So across from that, that's my short leg. What's my long leg? My long leg is across from the, um, from the longer angle. So my long leg is here. All right, so hypotenuse is 20. Okay, let's see here. If my hypotenuse is 20, I can figure out what my short leg is, right? My hypotenuse equals something times two. So if I got my hypotenuse, I want my short leg. All I gotta do is divide by two, right? So this is 10. Or the other way to do it is hypotenuse equals short times two. So 20 equals short times two, divide by two. And you come up with short. Yeah, short, it's already right here. Short is 10, right? Now, let's say you want your long. Your long equals your short times square root of 3. So 10 square root of 3. Or, sat on my computer. <laughs> or, um, long equals 10 times square root of 3. So long equals 10 square root of 3. I solved that triangle right there. Let's see. See if we can bust out a couple more of these. Let's see. All right, so let's say we have, say this side length is eight square root three. Ooh, that's a nasty eight. Eight square root three. And this is 30 degrees. What is X and what is Right, what is y? So, what am I given here? I'm given my hypotenuse. My hypotenuse is 8 square root 3. What can I find out just right off the bat? Well, this is my 30 degree angle. So, y is going to be my short leg. And x is going to be my long leg. What would this be over here? This would be 60. Um, so, hypotenuse equals short times 2. So I have my hypotenuse, my hypotenuse 8 squared 3 equals something times 2. So if I'm working backwards, I'm just going to divide. So 8, 8 squared 3 divided by 2 is my short leg. Or if I plug it in here, 8 squared root 3 equals short times 2, right? So divide by 2, and I have... Uh, 4 square root 3 equals my short leg. So this right here, my short leg is 4 square root 3. And this is easy. Now what do I do? I'm still trying to find out what my long leg is, right? My long leg. So I have my short. I know my long is equal to my short times square root 3. So all I have to do here is use this guy here. Long equals short times square root 3. So long equals my short is 4 square root 3 times the square root of 3. This is 4 square root of 9. Well, what's the square root of 9? It's just 3. So this is 4 times 3, which is 12. So what did I do there? I did... Um, 4 square root of 3 times square root of 3. The square root of 9 is 3. It says 4 times the square root of 9, which is the same thing as 4 times 3, which is 12. Let's do one more, and I think we'll get the gist of it. I'll leave my same picture up here. I'll just change some numbers. All right, let's say... Let's say my long leg is... Ooh, this is going to be fun. So my long leg is 12, right? And I want to find my other two. Okay, so long leg is 12. I want to find my other two. Long equals short times square root of 3. Well, long equals short times square root of 3. If I want to find my short, I do the opposite of timesing by square root of 3. So I divide. Hmm. 
Another way to think about it is this. What side length is going to be longer? The long or the short? Well, the long, right? So if I'm going from here to there, I'm not going to multiply because that would make it bigger. I'm going to divide. So I have 12. Make sure you put it in the right place down here. This is not my hypotenuse. Show my work over here. Oh, yeah. 12 for my long equals short times the square root of 3. So I'm just dividing by the square root of 3. So I have 12 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over square root of 3. Here, remember, I'm rationalizing my denominator. So I'm trying to get rid of this square root of 3 in the denominator. 12 times square root of 3 is 12 square root of 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is the square root of 9, which is 3. So 12 divided by 4 becomes 4. So this is 4 square root of 3. So my short leg is 4 square root of 3. Now how do I find my hypotenuse? My hypotenuse is nothing more than my short leg times 2. So 4 square root of 3 times 2 is 8 square root of 3. So I took 4 square root of 3 and I just plugged it in here. Oh, I didn't plug it in there. I plugged it into the top one. So 4 square root of 3 times 2, which is equal to 8 square root 3. And voila, there we go. How do we check to see if, we're, uh, if all of this stuff is correct? You can just always use, a, use the Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared is 144. 4 square root 3 squared is 16 times 3, which is 48. And 8 square root 3, that is going to be 64 times 3, uh, which is going to be 192. And there we go. Bam. So that's uh, special right triangles, uh, 45 or 30, 60, 90, part 2.